Okay. Hi guys, Miss Bale here. I'm just kind of sitting around working on this law of superposition stuff for science class. So I have these jars here, and we're gonna make some examples of the law of superposition using sediments. Look at my cool sediments. So the law of superposition states that, you know, an undisturbed rock layer, the very bottom layer is gonna be the oldest, so that's the sediment that landed there first. Then the next layer and the next layer would get subsequently younger. So this can get kind of boring, but pretty quick it gets pretty exciting. So here is my jar, rock layers of science. At the bottom we have yellow. This is gonna be our oldest layer because I had to pour it in the jar first. Then we have purple, a little bit younger, white a little bit younger, and the youngest, cutest baby layer oh, is the green layer on top. So oldest on the bottom, green on the top, that's the idea of superposition. So. Jars of science are pretty cool and sediments are pretty neat, but you know what? I think I can find a way to do this with my lunch. My lunch today comes straight from Japan. Look at my gummy hamburgers, I'm so excited. So I'm going to make a lovely gummy hamburger. I'm gonna start with the bottom bun. That's gonna be my first layer of sediment. Then I have a juicy burger, delicious. Then I'm gonna put on some lettuce because you definitely need some vegetables on your hamburger. And then, what's a hamburger? Lame. Cheeseburgers, even better. My layer of cheese. And then on the very top, I'm gonna to have my top bun. So if I look at my awesome lunch straight from Japan of science, I have a bottom bun that would be the, uh, the oldest layer because I put it down first. Then I have my burger that would be a little bit younger. Then my lettuce a little bit younger, my cheese a little bit younger until I get to my top bun. So I could say a true statement like this. My top bun is younger than my burger. My bottom bun is older than my burger. My cheese is younger than my burger. Kind of sounds like a gross lunch now when you put it that way. But I have a challenge for you. This is what I did. I cut apart a Snickers bar. Inside of my Snickers bar, I have multiple layers. My challenge to you is this. What is older, the peanuts or the caramel? That's all the time I have for now. I hope to hear the answer to this challenge because it is delicious.